We're asked to use the shell method or tubes method to determine the volume of the solid formed by rotating the region bounded by f of x equals negative 2x squared plus 16x plus 18, y equals 0 and x equals 0, about the y-axis. So let's first focus on determining the bounded region. So we know that f of x is a quadratic function, and because a is negative, it opens down. So this is the graph of f of x. y equals 0 is the x-axis. x equals 0 is the y-axis. So this shaded region is a bounded region that we're rotating about the y-axis, which would be here. When we rotate this region about the y-axis, we get this solid, and our goal is to find the volume of the solid. However, I do want to point out that if we don't have the graph, we would have to determine the vertical intercepts or x-intercepts of the function f of x to determine the bounded region, which we need for the limits of integration. So let's review how we find the vertical intercepts of f of x. We said f of x equal to 0 and solve for x, which will give us the equation 0 equals negative 2x squared plus 16x plus 18. Let's solve this equation by factoring. The greatest common factor is 2, but because the leading coefficient is negative, let's factor out negative 2. So we have negative 2 times the quantity positive x squared minus 8x minus 9. Looks like this trinomial will factor. So we have negative 2 and then two binomial factors. The factors of negative 9 that add to negative 8 are negative 9 and positive 1. So notice our solutions are x equals 9 from the factor of x minus 9 and x equals negative 1 from the factor of x plus 1. So these are the two vertical intercepts of the function f of x, which is here on the left and here on the right. But notice how because the region is also bounded by x equals 0, the vertical axis, the limits of integration will be from 0 to 9, not negative 1 to 9. And now we're told to find the volume of revolution using the shell method, which is the best choice because we have a function of x and a vertical axis of rotation. So to find the volume, we'll be using this formula here, where the volume equals 2 pi times the integral from a to b of rho of x times h of x dx, where rho of x is the radius function and h of x is the height function. To help us set up this integral, let's draw a representative rectangle that when rotated about the y-axis would be one shell or one tube of volume. When using the shell method, the representative rectangle is always parallel to the axis of rotation. So let's use this rectangle here as a representative rectangle. And the radius function gives us the distance from the rectangle to the axis of rotation, which would be this distance here Notice this is a horizontal distance, which would always be equal to x. So rho of x is equal to x. The height of the rectangle would be this distance here. Notice how this height is given by the function value, and therefore the height function h of x is given by negative 2x squared plus 16x plus 18. This is all the information we need in order to find the volume of this solid. So using the shell method, the volume v is equal to 2 pi times the integral. Again, the limits of integration are going to be from 0 to 9 along the x-axis of the bounded region. The integrand function is rho of x times h of x, which we now know is x times the quantity negative 2x squared plus 16x plus 18 integrated with respect to x. Let's go ahead and distribute the x. So the volume v is equal to 2 pi times the integral from 0 to 9 of, we'd have negative 2x cubed plus 16x squared plus 18x. Let's evaluate this on the next slide. If it's helpful, we can think of 18x as 18x to the first. So now we'll find the antiderivative. So we have 2 pi times, we have negative 2 times the antiderivative of x to the third is x to the fourth divided by 4 
plus 16 times the antiderivative of x squared, which is x to the third divided by 3, and then plus 18 times the antiderivative of x to the first is x to the second divided by 2. Let's go ahead and simplify the antiderivative. So we have 2 pi times, this would be negative 1 half, x to the fourth. Nothing simplifies here, but let's write this as plus 16 thirds x to the third, plus 18 divided by 2 is 9, so we have plus 9x squared. Now we need to find big F of b minus big F of a. So we'll have 2 pi times big F of b minus big F of a. So we first substitute 9 for x, which will give us negative 1 half times 9 to the fourth, plus 16 thirds times 9 to the third, plus 9 times 9 squared, minus big F of a. For big F of a, we substitute 0 for x. But notice each term contains a factor of x, and therefore each term would be 0. So we have 2 pi times, let's evaluate this on the calculator. So we have negative 1 half times 9 raised to the power of 4, the right arrow, plus 16 thirds times 9 to the third, right arrow. And then we have plus 9 times 9 squared. We can do exponent 2 or just use the squared key here and enter. So we get 1,336.5. No matter to find the exact value here, we'll take 1,336.5 multiplied by 2. Remember, we still have this factor of pi, and therefore the exact value is 2,673 pi. And this does represent volume and therefore the units would be cubic units. So going back to the first slide, we now know if we take this bounded region and rotate it about the y-axis, it gives us this solid, and this solid has a volume of exactly 2,673 pi cubic units. I hope you found this helpful.